Thanks, Luigi. Your genitals will give me enough money. What's up, everybody? I am Luke from the Master Sword Valley. Welcome back to more. Let's play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we made preparations and finished up at, or no, no, we just made preparations to set out for the Woohoo University by brewing ourselves some coffees, meeting you guys, and helping out the townsfolk around the town. In this episode, we are going to head out for the Woohoo University to the east. But before we go, I want to head in this house right here because this is a simple mushroom. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the left of it. Get ourselves a hidden block. Boobine, go up from it. Somewhere. I know it's somewhere. There it is. Get there. Boobine, get over here. Boobine! There's, so there's more hoobines for us. How are we doing on those? I didn't check. Uh, beans, 11 hoobines. Not too bad. Fortunately, we're all out of woo beans. That's going to be fun to brew those other coffees. But with that, we have made every preparation imaginable that I can think of. So now it's time for us to head out. Not that way, actually. We're going to go the other. We're going to go out west first and then head up to the Woohoo University because there's something I want to show off. I mean, maybe this is actually the required route that we're supposed to go. I don't really know. But where I want to go is up and to the right here or to the east, really, because I want to head over here to show this off. This area over here, we see obviously that this is so it's spoiled an area right there. We also have another enemy that I got first strike from. This is a Tanumba right here. I believe it's supposed to be reference to like, or no, they're enemies that will appear in later games. Clearly this is the 2003. But yeah, it's obviously very, very reminiscent of the tailed Goombas from the uh, from Mario 3D Land. They are basically, they're shapeshifters, as you can imagine. They can shape into Mario and Luigi. I would have thought that whatever bro they shapeshift into is the one they would attack, but turns out, nope, they don't. It's also another great time to try to continue to use our attacks, our bros attacks. I still have yet to learn the advanced ones, which sucks, but dang. Well, we get some woo beans for our troubles. Very nice. I'm I'm out of those, so I need them. And unfortunately, another egg Koopa right here we can't do anything about. So we're just gonna go ahead and explore around. We got some more swarms right here that I'm just gonna go ahead and completely ignore. Got another Tanumba somewhere. Oh, no. How? I hit you. Oh, we also have a new enemy right here. Ah, sorry, Luigi. Yeah, these guys do a lot of damage. They are a paratroopy. Yeah, they're basically the, the paratroopers that you would fight in this game right here. Given the fact that they, oops, oops, as well. Given the fact that you know that they're that they're uh, troopa, that they're basically koopas, uh, beanish koopas. Excuse me. They obviously have a lot more defense, and just like e any, just like every uh, parrot enemy hitting them will cause them to plummet down. Why can I not talk? <laughs> I killed my bro I killed my brother. No. Okay. <laughs> Enough with that. Let's go ahead and actually do a real chopper rose on you. Boom. Boom. Not that. Yeah, chopper rose does what does a lot, does wonders on defensive enemies as well. Boom. Still not getting it. I know that I know it takes a while to actually get the advanced command, but geez, how long is it gonna take me? There, I dodged a command. I counterattacked good that time. As you can see right there, that is the power of the Excite Spring right there. You can basically just hover in the air if you don't think you're gonna hit the, hit your mark. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Advanced Chopper Rose, finally, right as I was gonna cut away to finish the rest of the fight. Okay, good, you, you plummeted so I can show this off. Let's go ahead and do our knockback bros. Oh, that's another thing about them is that they can hock a loogie all over themselves or their other anyone else on the field to basically heal themselves. They heal from their spit. I don't get it, but we're gonna show off advanced chapter rows right here. So we're gonna go A, we're gonna go A. Oh, I, did I do it wrong? I don't know. Oh. So if you're able to counterattack those two peas, they basically work kind of like a green shell from later games. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this again. Oh, I didn't raw. I did it wrong again, of course. Great, good job, me. Why am I doing one damage? Oh, I need some. Oh, no. Okay, I think. I think we go that. 
We're gonna go A, B, A, B, A, B, A. And it's kind of like, kind of like another one of those com that uh, combo thing as well, where you basically can continuously attack the enemy. Can you stop healing yourself? Stop it. There we go. Get some more woo beans for our troubles. Nice. So that was the excite spring right there. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take it off uh, and give Mario the bonus ring right here. Do I really need all the experience? Probably not. I'll go ahead and give Luigi the. Oh, how much money do I have? 439. I'll go and give Luigi the Excite Spring as well. Or, yeah. Because we're gonna get a lot of money. I'm probably gonna fight a good majority of the enemies right here. Give Mario some more syrups. Same with Luigi. There we go. That works. I realize that, I realize in the moment that Luigi just has so much BP because of all the equipment we're giving him. Yeah, we're favoring the one and only Luigi in this. Screw you, Mario. Killed him before he even got to hand on the ground. And Luigi gets a level up, so that, I think that's the power of the double experience. Maybe it's the whole thing of like, if you don't get hit, it might be what it is. I, I don't remember the other upgrades super well, like the things you get from Egad. E Let's see, stash is all right, speed is all right. Defense is not looking too bad. Power's looking good. BP, you don't need more BP, Luigi. Let's give you some HP, why not? Ah, two. Dang it. Could have had threes, could have had a four on there, but nope. Oh, no. Dang it. <laughs> again, again, funny uh, fail animations if you fail the bros attacks. And Mario's level up time. Okay, you definitely need some more BP, Mario, because you're... Although, did I upgrade BP last time? I'm gonna go for it again, just so see what I can get. Four! Not bad. Okay, great. All right, keep, let's keep on going here. We have a, some areas that we can explore with Luigi right here, which I think are just, I actually will reveal some secrets. I know for a fact that we're not in required parts with Luigi going off on his own. That's not for a much later in the game. All right, this area. So we're on that upper part that we saw from the uh, other screen. And we'll go over and then we'll go over again. Just keep crossing the platforms. Certainly hope I can do the thing that's up here. That I could. Maybe it's that boost switch that we saw. It is that boost switch that we saw. Big waste of time. So you get, I'll go back. Okay, nothing up here. So over here is just a place for later. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All good. All right. Keep on going. Let's, let's see if we can find some more stuff before we head over there. Oh, new enemy up there as well. Um, I guess we'll get into him later because right now we have a cave right here. Go ahead and head on in and it's a mini Mario section. Or sorry, mini Mario. <laughs> I always, this is this is uh, random, kind of off topic, but I always like it in, especially in Mario Kart 7 when how Metal Mario says his name, how he goes. <laughs> and I always love associating that with, with like other forms of Mario or Luigi, especially Mario. Like how, obviously, I don't know if I can do well, but he goes, Mr. Mario. Obviously, with like a metal filter over him, which is really cool. Anyway, right over here, we have a golden Monty Mole. For making it all the way over, we get a one-up mushroom for that. See, it might seem kind of lame, but if we hop on this and go up here, we can access Warp Zone. This is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. We have to go up here, we access a different golden Monty Mole. For our troubles, we get a high-end badge. I said before that the Bros Rock badge was good. This one is also really good as far as I can remember. Uh, let's see, high-end badge. Auto boost power once during battle. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Mario so that, you know, he actually has some more BP as well. So yeah, Luigi didn't get a taste of it, unfortunately. But it's all good. I think he's fine with the equipment that he's got. And we'll go, we'll go ahead and reunite. Reunite Lost Brothers! Didn't have any need to reunite lost souls because Luigi couldn't do anything for that. Let's keep on going. So we have here T Valley because of the super rock slide. Super rock slide. Oh, it, spo it spoils about an another item that we don't have. Anyway, so you can see be here, Beamy Castle Town is to the south. Uh, is there anything up here by this? Af presumably, effigy of Fawful. Yes, there is. Usually, usually these, uh, like where you find these statues, you'll usually find hidden beans right there, as you can see. Anyway, let's keep going. Heading to the south this time. 
We might have been heading towards Beaming Castle. I guess we'll go and fight this new enemy while we're at it. High jump. I hate that that's a back attack. But we have right here the Lacopy. Obviously, as you saw in the field, he was spawning uh, our, those spiky things. Whatever they're called. Sharpie. That's what they are. I don't know why I completely forgot the name. As you can see, uh, he's basically just, just the supplier of them. So is he a good way to get experience? Uh, no, I don't really think so. Not much else to say about him. <laughs> Loser. He fell down. There we go. Get another bean. Not bad. Oh, I think from now on, like, like uh, oftentimes if you see little flowers like that right there, you'll usually find some beans. Anyway, we see here that Woohoo University is to the south. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can put an end to Cacletta's efforts. Let's see if we can make this a short project. Let's see, where might there be a bean? Where might there be a bean by this what this statue? This this fawful this awful or fawful statue. Hmm. Sorry about that. Uh the, I could I could hear uh I could hear the garage open, so I thought someone was home or leaving or something, so I just wanted to see what was up with that. Anyway, as as we progress, we have another area for Luigi to go to. Luigi, you're getting a lot of you're getting a, to do a lot of things on your own this time. Hopefully you don't need the support of your brother to do this. I believe this part, unfortunately, because I went here, I can't go back. But if we go all the way up here, we get ourselves a hoop bean, not inside of a hidden block, strangely enough. Go and hit this block, and I believe this is how we go back. Yep, with some parabeans in the way. Oh no! Not like Luigi can't avoid them. Haha, <laughs> loser. Loser. Alright. And I believe before we actually head there, because there were obviously those guards, we got another bean. Bean. Oops. Do this. I think there's something is should we head over this way? I think we can actually get another beat. Yes, we can. Somewhere around here. Aha! There's another hooping right there. Perfecto! So with that done, I guess we're now gonna go ahead over to the Woohoo University. There were some guards blocking our way. You can pass, or so I've been instructed to say. <laughs> Jeez. How many passive aggressive people are here in this kingdom? I'm just seeing if there's, if there's anything else around the area super quick, like before we go onwards. Anything, anything? I don't think so. Well, let's just go ahead and progress. I think the other stuff that we can do is locked. Locked until we obviously come back with later stuff. I'm getting my supply of woo beans back, which is awesome. 14 of the things already. And I already have enough chuckle beans to make another chuckle blend. Wow. Just wow. They really made up for the fact that I had to grind for those beans. Okay, person foot pressing onward right here. Is there anything around here? Seems like it, there should be something hidden considering that. Yes, there is. Luigi, go get us another bean. Thank you. You know, I'll probably look. I'll probably look this up and put a put a note on screen if beans even grow in the grow in the ground. I mean, ultimately it all it all depends on like what kind of beans. But I imagine that they're going for the fact that you know they're like coffee beans. I gotta wonder if they grow in the ground or at least in soil, like potted plants and such. I honestly have no idea. Get some more beans for our troubles. Go ahead and heal up our BP here, our Mario BP. There we go. Let's keep going. The University is over, is coming ever so closer. All right, I, so I guess this area was required for us to go to. So what's this? The University is right next to us. Awesome. Let's get into all these coins. There we go. Nice coins, lots of stuff. Let's press onward and onward. Get some more stuff. What's this? More coins. Wow. If you're, if you're ever going to go to the university, make sure you can actually hit the dang block first because this will pay for your college tuition perfectly. I I get the feeling that that's kind of the joke they're going for with the fact that they put two bunch of coin blocks outside of the university. But here we are. This decrepit old building with these broken windows and everything. Here we go. And we get some very disturbing music here. Yeek! Run! <laughs> there's always there's always that thing when it's ever it's like a a crowd running away there's always the straggler that falls down anyway seems like we were too late and we can straight up ignore that guy 
All right, then. Kekleta and her crew stuck in the university. They transform all the university's professors into monsters. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. He transformed into a Dr. Mario cosplayer. Okay, maybe not. This is the laser snippet right here. As you, as you can imagine, it's dead. It's iconic. Does that mean we just straight up killed an innocent professor? That's kind of what it seems like there. Let's go and get. Oh, I did not mean to. Okay, stop, stop. Like, uh, these these freaking menus, man. They shouldn't be this complicated, but they are. Get another who bean right there. And let's check the map. We have a huge, huge campus to deal with right here. We can see a very cool looking door ahead of us here. So if we go forward, we have this. This pretty cool looking door. Something straight out of like Paper Mario or something. Hit this block. And that shuts off the electricity for us to progress. Who would have known that the deactivation switch was in a room as important as this door is? That, we get another hoobie, not even inside of a hidden block. I don't get it, really. But anyway, that hitting that block turns that lens around from an X to an O, so we'll deal with that later. Not super important to us. I think if we head down to this corner, okay, that door is blocked, so the only way for us to really go is over this way. This way. Secret, shh. And here we are with all the exposed wires and everything. Let's get into an actual fight with these laser sniffets here. Oh, new enemy as well. We have the Yo Bro. Yo Bro, what's up, yo? I'll go ahead and attack you. Good, I didn't get a lucky hit that time to actually show off their moves. As the laser sniffets are interesting. If they're far away from you, jump. But if they're close, they'll actually fire a uh, move that's parallel to you. Also, the Yo Bros, obviously imagine red means Mario, green means Luigi. Let's go ahead and I probably shouldn't have done this so we could see possibly more of it, but oh well. I'm still trying to get those advanced moves. And I'll just continue to use Chopper Bros because it's still really cool. Uh, perfect. See, it's close right here. Fires a parallel. I don't, I don't really get the, si the science of how that would work for these laser snippets. I guess as they just choose to fire one low to the ground. Anyway, Mario gets to level up. Level 16 already. I can't believe it. Awesome. So what do we upgrade here? HP's not doing too bad. Power looking. Let's give you some power, Mario, even though you don't need it. Four. Perfect. 50, over the 50s in power. And Luigi gets to level up. So now the bros are tied in levels. Awesome. All right, what do we give you here? Do we give you some defense? Sure, let's give you some defense. Nice. No, uh, so the tying in the stat that they actually are good at. Let's go ahead and get you into the ground and give me that bean. At, there's a point. Whoops. There's a point where you really are not going to need as many beans as I'm collecting right here. Oh, new enemy as well. This would kind of look familiar to those of the olden days. These are viruses. Obviously a reference to Dr. Mario here. We also have a new enemy right here. I forget what you are called. I guess we'll I guess we'll find out. As you can see, hitting these viruses change them color. So we have the Eker right here. They aren't very they aren't very strong, as you can see right there. But what I want to do is go ahead and attack this blue virus right here. And that turns to yellow. Matching viruses kill themselves out. The colors basically cancel each other. They are really cool. It's a full-on throwback to Dr. Mario, which which I I find cool, but I never played Dr. Mario. I just I just find it a, a really nice way to basically kill them to basically take out a group of enemies right there. Let's find another one. And oh my god, we're matching. We can't exist together. Oh no. I think I'm just going to go ahead and kill him because he doesn't have much health. Unfortunately, Mario doesn't get... Ooh, we get some school slacks for that. I didn't realize those enemies dropped that. I don't know which enemy it actually is. But, okay, so apparently they're an upgrade for Luigi. The school slacks. Wear these to allow to always attack before Mario. So it gets kind of a basically a speed upgrade. Those are cool, but I'm not gonna actually use them because I I like the uh I like the way things are right now. We have the sun door and the block research room. Let's go ahead and try that room first. There's some cool references here. 
Bro's block moves in the arrow's direction when the character matching the color block hits it. This Bro's block is mainly a prototype, so striking it will not produce coins. Yeah, so so you so you basically can just, can just get practice on them right here. Doesn't give you anything. So they're an basically analyzing blocks to see how they work and I guess how they would give you coins and such. Up here though, we have some pretty cool references. Right here, block used in Super Mario Bros. They have secret materials from the Mushroom Kingdom. Metallic appearance is quite popular. I didn't realize that they are kind of metallic like that. Block used in Super Mario World, made of light, shiny materials, somewhat shock absorbent. We have those. We have this one, which is the one in Super Mario 64. Currently analyze the new technology that makes it vanish when struck. And I guess they are the only blocks that really do that right there. And then this one, block used in Paper Mario. One of the very few franchises outside of like Mario Party 5 that references Paper Mario. As, as, at least early on in stages of development like this. All right, so this next one we have, this is a rally block. Hit this block, it's moving block, pairs of rally with it. This rally block is merely a prototype of striking it, will not produce coins. So we're not gonna do with that. And then we also have the random block right here, which when the character's matching the color block, strikes block, the proc produces coins. This block is merely a prototype. So this one, I'm not really a fan of right here, considering that it gives you a, a, ran, a random bro. Sometimes it might give you them like four times in a row. As you can see, two, one, two, one, 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 one two, three, four, five, one, one. See what I mean? It gives you a random bro like so many times in a row and it trips me up almost every time. But yeah, those, those are some cool references right there. We're gonna go ahead and keep moving forward here and more viruses to fight. Just gonna go and avoid, try to avoid them at least. Get another pair of school slacks right there. It sucks that those are only for Luigi. Oh, I guess this is the optional path to go on. Well, we got a random block here, so this is gonna be fun. I was am anticipating the switch, like like that. You don't. It doesn't seem like you get a lot of coins from now from all these. So if you if, see, I'm taking it slow right here, and I'm not getting a decent. I'm getting a decent amount, but again, I just don't like those blocks. Get a nut right there. We get a mushroom, and another who bean. That's not hidden. Uh, sure, game. As we can see here, we have a pretty big looking important area up ahead here. Let's see what this is all about. Do not hit me with those rings. Come here, you. Oh, okay, let's, so we'll keep going this way. Unfortunately, this area up here is blocked, what does it say? Generator service room and the sun door is this way. The only place, so the only open area we can go to is over here. Dang it. Sorry, Luigi. Oh. The Yobro can also, I think that's an upgrade into its power right there. So they can literally just do that out of nowhere. Does it, is that fair? Not really. Okay, now if I can stop getting interrupted by so many of these enemies right here. Sundor release code. Remember this code right here. So red, blue, red, blue, red, 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 blue, blue, red, blue, red, or no, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay, so red, red, blue, blue, red, blue, red, red. Okay, I think I, I think I memorized that pretty good. So we want to go red, red, blue, blue. All hell, a mighty car painter. Not really. Blue, red, blue, red. Yes, just like that. I don't know. I guess it gives you the default code first and then it gives you the code you need to punch in i don't understand why it gives you two of them with that we turn on the light and it turns out those are mirrors after all that will reflect the light i think you can imagine that it's going to go all the way back to where that sun door is so anyway i think on that note now that we have gotten the sun door activated we're going to go ahead and call things right here uh, hopefully there's Hope I can avoid those viruses. Yeah, I'll just stay out here. Next time on Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we are going to get the light all the way to that main door right there and see if we have to whereabouts of Cacoletta. See you guys then.